साक्षी भावना सो इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज साक्षी भावना ओके एंड वाई डू वी डू इट सो लेट मी गिव यू अ सिंपल एग्जाम्पल हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव पेट्स और यू मस्ट है पीपल हैविंग पेट्स राइट सो इफ यू हैव अ डॉग एट होम ओके एंड इफ यू टेक द डॉग आउट फॉर अ वॉक does the dog have a leash yeah it has a leash right so there's a leash and you take the dog out for a walk now what is the purpose of the leash right you don't want to tie him down right that's not the purpose what's the purpose of the leash the purpose of the leash is that dog is curious by nature you taking the dog out is very curious by nature would want to go here would want to go there wouldn't even understand you know this is the right place for me this is the wrong place for me just out of curiosity the dog would want to go everywhere okay but the leash helps you to pull him and loose him whenever the need be got the example okay if there's something dangerous you got to pull the leash right if there's something that the dog wants to explore and it's good enough then you loosen the leash a little and then he explores or she explores now what is the parallel here okay you the owner is you right the dog is your mind the mind is curious by nature the mind wants to wander the mind wants to go here the mind wants to go there the mind wants to go into the past into the future sometimes the places are good for the mind right sometimes the places you visit are good for your mind but sometimes they are not so good so you need a leash now what is the leash the leash is here are the tools that you use okay to regulate your mind right and one of the leash is here one of the tools or the leash to regulate your mind and emotions is called sakshi bhavana now see the word is made up of uh, two words sakshi and bhavana sakshi you must have heard hindi movies mein ke ye sakshi hai ye gawah hai right present so, witness yeah the witness and what is bhavna bhavna is your emotions your sentiments your thoughts so basically sakshi bhavna is witnessing your thoughts your emotions your sentiments as a third party objectively right now uh, so what happens is why do we practice sakshi bhavna so uh, let us let uh, let me make this interactive so how many of you feel that we live a lot in the past just raise your hand a lot in the past of what has happened and you know yeah how many of you feel that we actually live a lot in the past all of us right so or or the future you could say right most of us are like you know uh, why did that happen to me oh it could have happened differently it already has happened but then you keep on revisiting and then thinking that it could have happened differently do we do this all the time yes asha ma'am yes norin ma'am do we do this we keep visiting past or fir sochte are kaash aisa hua hota aisa nahi hota you know i wish i could have gone to the past and changed the event we all do this right so what is sakshi bhavana this is one of the tools in ashtang yoga ashtang yoga the yoga hatha yoga has eight limbs what are the eight limbs it is yama okay niyama yam is basically the rules to live in the society niyama the rules you follow okay to live a healthy life asanas okay that you learn yoga asanas pranayam that you have heard about pratyahar what is pratyahar to draw within the senses are drawn inward then there is dharana dhyana and samadhi these are the eight limbs of ashtanga yoga okay now uh, sakshi bhavana is related to pratyahar now what is pratyahar and why do we practice sakshi bhavana so uh, see emotions are not bad by themselves emotions have a place and a role in our life there's a reason they are given to us right anger we say is bad no but anger is needed at times anger is needed if there is no anger then you don't correct the situation you don't uh, get into action sometimes anger is needed to let the other person know that this is the boundary you don't need to cross so anger is important okay uh, think of other uh, fear fear is important 
fear is also important if you do not fear certain things then you will put yourself into danger every now and then so fear is also important problem kaha aata hai pata hai problem aata hai too much and too little problem kaha aa jata hai too much of any emotions or too little of any emotion what we need is balance right so um aapka you know what happens is do you have you heard about conscious pre conscious yes. and subconscious and unconscious yes. sorry okay so yes. the conscious mind is right now you are like consciously aware of you okay then there is a bridge between ye conscious hai ye subconscious hai aur dono ke beech mein uh, ye sorry unconscious hai aur dono ke beech mein ek bridge hota hai usko bolte hain pre conscious aur subconscious which is connecting your conscious to your unconscious abhi kya hota hai okay uh, let us visualize aapka ghar hai okay there is there is your house so how is the living room okay if there is some guest if the guest is going to come to your place but how is the living room for most of us the living room okay is always comparatively neater yes you you can answer yeah it's comparatively neater well kept right because you know that people are going to come visit your living room hai na to bahut achhi tarah se hum saja ke rakhte hain right then yeah. comes your kitchen uh, then comes your bedroom then comes your kitchen and then there is a place called basement or store room okay yahan pe unlike foreign western countries we don't have a store room or basement but we do have cupboards or things where we just put in all the rubbish garbage hai na hum log sab 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 rakh dete hain andar agar koi guest aane wala ho to wo jagah pe rakh dete hain jahan pe it's not going to show right exactly our behavior is this is what we behave with people see this is conscious behavior is our living room okay we we really you know because since i am going to talk to you right now i am going to put forward my best uh, self tejal is going to be at her best behavior because you are going to judge me and maybe analyze me so this is my living room right your subconscious is somewhat like your uh, bedrooms and kitchen but your unconscious is like your store room राइट right? समझ में आ रहा है अनकॉन्शियस इज लाइक योर स्टोर रूम तो जितना आपको गुस्सा आता है अनएक्सप्रेस एंगर अनएक्सप्रेस जेलसी अनएक्सप्रेस इमोशंस आर जस्ट शव डाउन है ना हम लोग क्या करते हैं कितनी बार फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स अज्यूम अज्यूमिंग ओके दैट नैना मैम ओके इज माई मदर इन लॉ आई एम द डॉटर इन लॉ एंड उसको बहुत मुझ गुस्सा आया है राइट बट शी कैन नॉट एक्सप्रेस इट फॉर वॉट एवर it's going to be suppressed it's going to be repressed inside and it's going to be there within my unconscious it's not going to go away does it go away no does it go away no it doesn't go away no so, no so yeah it doesn't go away easily you know what it does is it it's there within your unconscious and how would it manifest itself it would manifest itself in panic attacks okay unwarranted anger kabhi kabhar bina wajah ke gussa aata hai aata hai hum log ko there is no reason rhyme or reason but you are angry that is your unconscious uh, feelings and emotions which are not expressed or which are not dealt with or which are not healed they come to the surface to jaise body ka detoxification important hai na hai ki nahi hum trusha mam ne abhi eyes ki exercises karwai control kaise karenge ha us par hi aati hu main pehle ke pehle ke kyun control karna hai ye important is why do i go into things is why do i explain you the reasons कि फ्यूचर में वेन एवर यू प्रैक्टिस इट यू शुड नो दैट दिस इज द रीजन आई प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस सिंपल होती है बट उसके पीछे का रीजन हम नहीं समझते रीजन आई एक्सप्लेनिंग यू व्हाट हैपेंस टू योर माइंड राइट तो कभी कल को आपको इफ यू लाइक एंग्री फॉर नो रीजन ओके देन यू वुड नो दैट ओके दीज आर द मेकेनिज्म बाई विच आवर माइंड वर्क ओके सो डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन के लिए फिजिकल डिटॉक्सिफिकेशन हम लोग डाइट करते हैं वी गो फॉर डाइट वी गो फॉर एक्सरसाइजेस वी गो फॉर योगा सेंस ओके वॉट डू वी डू फॉर मेंटल क्लेंजिंग प्रोसेसिस वॉट डू वी डू देर देर आर हार्डली एनी क्लीनर्स ओके देर आर हार्डली एनी क्लीनर्स वी वुड गो एंड क्लीन राइट ऑल वी डू इज शर्फ ऑल दैट इज नॉट टू बी सीन और शोर इन टू द क्रेविसेस or into the basement or into the store room where it cannot be seen by people as simple as that and people will not realize that tejal is right now sounding very logical and reasonable but the tejal maybe at 7 o'clock in her house 
would be totally unreasonable totally out of our emotions would be out of control right so we have all of us have these two sides to us right the constructive thoughts and emotions the destructive ones to abhi sakshi bhavna mein kya karna hai okay let us now bahut theory ho gaya let us go for action based uh, based uh, this thing okay exercises so right now i want you all to participate asha ma'am okay yeah i want you to participate okay norin ma'am uh, razia ma'am all of you okay participate wholeheartedly you will see the impact of it okay so now let us just listen to me first we will sit with our eyes closed and you will go back to one of the incidents okay any one experience or incident happened in last few days which really made you angry or which really frustrated you something which was impactful something jo aapko yaad hai maybe few months few uh, days but jo recent ho not few years back jo recent ho jisne aapko which really made you frustrated or angry or irritated kuch to hua rahega right with your family or friends or boss or whatever so you just have to close your eyes for few minutes listen to me go listen listen first go back to that uh, incident and feel exactly what you felt during that time in the past feel exactly let the emotions flow within you and then i'll ask you that what had happened to you bodily and mentally so just close your eyes please participate you will you will realize this you know participate and follow the sensations okay let yourself be angry it's okay just close your eyes take your mind back to that incident think of the details let your body feel the emotion of anger irritation frustration let it seep through you please participate close your eyes feel the frustration feel the anger in your body just let yourself lose and feel it okay just let yourself lose and feel it feel the sensation of it feel what happens in your body with the frustration just close your eyes don't open it otherwise you lose the just feel it feel it let the anger let the frustration go through your body feel what it does to you if you feel like punching somebody just punch the person feel like slapping somebody yeah let yourself loose just this is just a mental uh, exercise slap somebody feel like abusing somebody just abuse go out and abuse also feel the sensation what happens to your body and mind just feel it we will slowly slowly come back to the present moment take your mind off the event to the present moment and open your eyes i want you all to be honest and i want you all to unmute any of you who would want to just share the sensation whatever you felt just just share it I Please unmute. Me. Breathing was very fast. I felt I was breathing fast. Okay. I felt that, and I felt my arms were tightening, and uh, I did feel discomfort in my chest. Anybody else would like to share? What did you feel during that uh, recall of that incident, particular? Yes. You watch, ma'am. Yeah, you need to unmute. यस yes, वो जब मैंने वो फील किया तो ब्रीदिंग हाँ. फास्ट फास हो गई और हॉट हो गई गर्म हो गई गर्म हो गई ज्यादा गर्म हो गई और थोड़ा सीने में दर्द हुआ ओके okay. ऐसा ऐसा लगा कि कोई भारी हो गया पत्थर जैसा वजन हो गया सीने भारी राइट 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 सो सी व्हाट इज दिस ओके शोज और कुछ कर नहीं पाई मैं कुछ कर नहीं पाई तो मैं वॉकिंग करने लगी थोड़ा इधर उधर फास्ट फास्ट बस okay. क्योंकि मेरे पास मेरे मेरे हाथ में कुछ नहीं था उसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए okay. तो एक्सप्रेस भी नहीं कर सकती थी और दबा नहीं पा रही थी 
तो कुछ नहीं गुस्से में बस इधर उधर चलने लगी सो टू थिंग्स एपन वन वॉज साइकोलॉजिकल वन वॉज फिजियोलॉजिकल एट द मेंटल लेवल एंड एट द बॉडी लेवल राइट तो आपने एक्सपीरियंस किया होगा कि वो इवेंट ऑलरेडी हो गई है इट्स पास्ट इट्स ऑलरेडी हैपेड राइट बट इवन इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट टूडे एट दिस मोमेंट योर बॉडी रिस्पॉन्स टू दैट इवेंट दैट मेमोरी इन अ सिमिलर फैशन एज इट डेट फ्यू ईयर्स और फ्यू डेज और फ्यू मंथ्स बैक राइट अभी तो अभी राइट नाउ एज ऑफ नाउ इन दिस मोमेंट दैट इवेंट इज नॉट हैपनिंग इज इट है बॉडी जब तभी जब डैमेज हुआ था बिकॉज ऑफ फास्ट ब्रीदिंग बिकॉज ऑफ हाई प्रेशर हार्ट रेट गोइंग अप द एड्रोनलिन फ्लोइंग बिकॉज ऑफ एंगर ओके द टाइटनिंग ऑफ मसल्स द इरिटेशन मेंटल लेवल पे द फ्रस्ट्रेशन ऑल दीज इमोशन सेंसेशन एक्सपीरियंस वंस अगेन इवेंट हो गई इवेंट एज हैपन इट्स पास so they say <laughs> okay the emotions are temporary the emotions are temporary but the effects are relatively permanent yes jab sochenge jab wo takleef ha to wo ye hai ki whenever we go and whenever we emotionally invest ourselves okay aapne kyun aapko ye sab feel kyun hua razia ma'am kyunki aapne fir se wahan pe you went to the past and again mm. you started you put yourself in the event and you started mm. identifying and again mm. up you started reliving in that event इसीलिए आपको ये सब फील हुआ तो व्हाट इज साक्षी भावना भाई साक्षी भावना क्या करता है यू नो नाउ लाइक कमिंग बैक टू व्हाट इज साक्षी भावना एंड व्हाई डू वी डू इट राइट एज नैना मैम वाज आस्किंग मी तो अभी उसको क्या करें व्हाट डू वी डू अबाउट द इमोशंस ओके दिस वाज द प्रॉब्लम वी टॉक्ड अबाउट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सॉल्यूशन सी दिस इज नॉट इजी इजी इट्स ऑलवेज इजीयर सेड देन डन ओके बट इट्स लाइक आपको मैराथन अगर इफ यू वांट टू रन द मैराथन ओके इफ यू वांट टू रन मैराथन say for at least uh, for 5 uh, kilometers or say for 21 kilometers okay do you start running 20 21 kilometers in a day do you do it of course not right you start practicing by running 2 kilometers then 3 then 4 and then 5 and then gradually moving on right so same is the case with sakshi bhavana what is sakshi bhavana we'll practice it now i'll just explain you what you do is you close your eyes and i i I'd, there was this thing that sakshi bhavana if you must have read or you would have read, uh, read that it is a precursor or a leading practice to meditation did you read it today yeah it was given there yeah that it's a, a precursor a leading practice to meditation yeah so what happens meditation mein when you sit for meditation most of us uh, tell me if you feel this if you can relate to this when you meditate you have more thoughts more than usual people have this thing you know that when i sit to meditate rather than having less thoughts i'm i'm having more thoughts and more ideas and does this happen does this happen yeah for all of us and this makes it uh, difficult yes. for us to continue with yes, meditation yes, yes. most of us uh, quit yes. meditation because of this that you know it's like you know i mean rather than lessening the thoughts it's increasing my thoughts ho raha hai na hota hai for me and you yeah Can you hear me, Nargis? I'm Nargis yes, speaking. Yes, yes, Nargis, ma'am. Bolo. Yeah, yeah. Acha, yeah, yeah. Meditation, more thoughts are coming. Correct. Right, right. More thoughts. Even I. Yes, see yes. It. So why does? And we sleep? get sleep also. We get sleep also. You get sleep if you are very relaxed. You sleep, right? Yes. Or you get more of thoughts. Yeah. Which uh, both the uh, things you have to avoid. You can't. You know, you shouldn't sleep, or neither you should think more. So, what uh, happens in meditation? It's not that you think. Uh, Tejas, I think yeah. your, your video is not stopped. Please repeat again. So what shall I do? Just repeat. Just repeat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what happens is meditation. Me, it's not that you are getting more thoughts. क्या होता है? It's just that for a change, 
यू आर पेइंग अटेंशन टू योर थॉट्स राइट नाउ अभी भी अभी भी रजिया मैम को नैना मैम मैम को नोरिन मैम को बहुत सारे थॉट्स आ रहे यू गेटिंग लॉट ऑफ थॉट्स बट राइट नाउ योर अटेंशन इज फोकस्ड ऑन मी ओके सो यू डोंट रियलाइज द नंबर ऑफ थॉट्स मेडिटेशन में सिंस यू आर एक्चुअली क्लोजिंग योर आईज बिकमिंग अवेयर यू रियलाइज दैट यू आर हैविंग सो मेनी थॉट्स सो बेसिकली यू आर जस्ट रियलाइजिंग यू आर हैविंग सो मेनी थॉट्स ओके सो इट्स ओके टू हैव थॉट्स now what is sakshi bhavana why is it a leading practice what we do in sakshi bhavana is this is interesting like you go to watch a movie in a theater if you go to watch a movie in a theater okay and the movie is really a sad movie okay uh so you would find that there are some people who would cry along with the movie they start not crying crying like you know as if things are happening to them hai na nana ma'am right that they start crying as if things are happening to them like you are the leading lady in the or whatever the character and there are some people who just watch the movie just like you know it's a movie okay it's it's, it's a movie it started it's going to get over i don't need to invest in myself emotionally into the movie because the movie is going to get over what is sakshi bhavana sakshi bhavana works exactly on this principle that you sit you close your eyes you let thoughts come because they are going to come you let them go you don't identify with them you don't start emotionally responding to them okay whether the thoughts make you angry whether the thoughts make you sad whether the thoughts make you happy don't emotionally invest in the thoughts or emotions why because they will come and they will go they will come they will go right but if you emotionally invest yourself it is going to hamper you physically and mentally right and your thoughts and emotions will become your master the dog okay will now start walking the what the parent rather than the parent walking the dog it would be the dog actually have you seen there are certain dogs okay the parent of the dogs you know that the dog actually makes them move it's not the parent who decides you know where would the dog moves the dog decides where the parent moves right don't let this happen okay it's the since you are the parent your emotions your thoughts are your children basically right so what you do is you need to have control over it right you have to use it it's not bad it's not good you have to use it wherever they are supposed to be used and the amount of usage to cheeze hai so sakshi bhavana mein kya hai let them come let them go okay it's not it's it's easier said right ki aapko gussa nahi karna agar aapko gussa aa gaya to bring back yourself detach yourself as if you are watching a movie as if it's not happening to razia ma'am will imagine that this is not razia ma'am's life this is somebody else's life so if it is somebody else's life do you respond the same way no no you just okay it's it's going to pass now what is the benefit of this beautiful exercise this is a beautiful tool you can sit wherever you are no tools are required you just have to close your eyes just for 3 to 5 minutes in a day start with 3 to 5 minutes because this is it's difficult to get used to this just close your eyes for 3 to 5 minutes let the thoughts come let them go let the emotions come let them go don't become friends with your emotions or don't become enemy with your emotions because in both the cases if you become friends with your emotions they will come visit you time and again if you become enemy with your emotions they'll come and visit you aapko past mein rehna hai do you want to live in your past no right do you want to live in your future no you would want to live in the present moment right i would want to live in the present moment and actually be aware and enjoy what is there around me so sakshi bhavana is one of the ashtanga yoga it's a sub okay topic of ashtang yoga one of the limbs of ashtang yoga a sub uh, limb of ashtang yoga called pratyahar and what is pratyahar so pratyahar mein kya karte hai now you all there is a, a mudra called shan mukhi mudra we will practice this what is shan mukhi mudra take your hands yeah take your hands okay yeah sit straight do hands kaan mein do eyes pe just a minute yeah two yeah eyes pe do nose pe and yahan pe lips pe like this release it 
what was the symbol uh, symbolic importance of this mudra can somebody tell me what what is the symbolic importance of this mudra why do we do this just logically think of this why do we do, do this there were five two fingers five cents uh, attach ho rahe na perfect aap kya kar rahe ho ha aap five cents is ko close kar rahe ho close kar rahe you are you're not allowing your five senses to look outward into Out, the outside yes. world closing okay. them so that can look inside mm. Mm. right now sakshi bhavana mein we will sit okay first listen to the technique aap baithoge okay pehle aap breathing par thoda control karoge as in you will you know uh, be one with your breathing as i explained you earlier earlier how breathing and thoughts and emotions are connected right then you will just right now you will not you will let थॉट्स कम एनी थॉट जिसको भी आना है आप आने दो आपको रिएक्ट नहीं करना है ओके okay? आपको रिएक्ट नहीं करना है आपको इमोशनली इन्वेस्ट नहीं करना है आपको गुस्सा नहीं करना है आपको यू नो यू नॉट करो फील द इमोशन ऑफ एंगर और जेलसी यू जस्ट लेट देम गो लेट देम कम लेट देम गो इन केस इफ यू रिस्पॉन्ड टू इट यू कैन ऑलवेज टैप योर सेल्फ ब्रिंग योर सेल्फ बैक ओके जस्ट लाइटली टैप योर सेल्फ टैपिंग इज लाइक ट्रेनिंग योर बॉडी एंड माइंड दैट ओ आई एम लाइक wandering it's just tapping like you know tap yourself bring your hota hai na wo jaise dog tha waise hi apna mind hai right it's like the dog loves to wander so does the mind okay it's not bad it's the nature of the mind to wander so just tap yourself bring yourself back right focus on the breathing again again let the thoughts come let them go let the emotions come let them go what will what will this do aapko ye kaise benefit karega naina ma'am yeah how will this benefit you ha huh? naina ma'am now how will this benefit you what will happen is even if you practice this for 3 minutes a day 3 to 5 every single day you know what in a span of few months you will train your mind to be a watcher to be a, an observer and not get emotionally involved right and this is such a beautiful training because tomorrow after a good sufficient practice of this okay there are going to be uh, situations where you are going to be emotionally provoked but believe me you will have some control over your because you've been practicing this it's like if you want to practice running okay you run on different surfaces right you do this you run every single day you run every single day on different surfaces to train yourself this is exactly training yourself aisa nahi hai ki kal ko gussa chala jayega ya you know aap aapko gussa hi nahi aayega कि आप इमोशनली जेन लाइक हो जाओगे कि आप रिस्पॉन्ड ही नहीं करोगे करोगे वॉट विल इट डू इज इट विल ब्रिंग सम अमाउंट ऑफ रेग्यूलेशन इट विल एक्चुअली मेक यू एंड इफ मेक यू इन कंट्रोल ऑफ योर इमोशंस सो यूल फील दैट यू आर वॉकिंग योर डॉग राधर देन द डॉग इज वॉकिंग यू अभी हमारी लाइफ में द इमोशन आर वॉकिंग अस यार टेकिंग अस फॉर अ राइड द इमोशन दैट वॉन्ट्स टू टेक अस फॉर अ राइड फ्रॉम द पास कैन टेक अस फॉर अ राइड राइट पांच साल पहले माई डॉटर इन लॉ और माई सन टोल्ड मी दिस हाउ डेर डिड यू नो डिड ई आर्ग्यू विथ मी हाउ डेर डिड ई डू दिस हाउ डेर डू दे यू नो सो इट्स स्टिल काइंड ऑफ यू नो नॉट जस्ट फाइव इयर्स बैक बट इट्स स्टिल टाइम मी डाउन राइट इट्स स्टिल टाइम मी डाउन इट इज हैपेड ओके इट्स गॉन इट्स पास टू इयर्स बैक माई फ्रेंड ओके a good friend of mine i'm just saying a scenario did not respond to me oh she avoided me and you still feel that oh how dare she avoid me yeah how dare she avoid me how dare she look down upon me okay somebody kind of maybe look down upon your dress or look down upon you or whatever how dare she you know hum we are stuck with this how dare he and how dare she and but believe me the world is not going to change for you the world is not changing just like you don't want to change the world does not want to change right razia ma'am is going to behave the way razia ma'am is made emotionally physically her makeup you know whatever her makeup is she's going to respond to me exactly that way razia ma'am is going to respond to tejal the way tejal wants razia ma'am to respond believe me it is not happening so stop stop changing people around okay let your daughter in law do whatever she wants to do let your husband do whatever he wants to do let your uh, children do whatever they want to do it it does, doesn't matter what matters is how much are you in control of your emotions 
अगर आपको कोई ऐसे ही गुस्सा दिला दे ऐसे ही लाइक यू नो ऐसे तो प्रॉब्लम उसमें है या आप में टेल मी मोर एट फॉल्ट एवरी डे so let us do this small practice if you feel like that it is helping you you all can continue i will bring in new ideas new practices new tools and i will present it to you right now ek you know i'll make a kit for you you can pick up whatever uh, suits you and whatever works for you right so now we'll practice sakshi bhavna you just need to sit back relax sit back take any adhar asan or even if it's on a chair it's okay just sit just relax relax yourself too much of information just relax hello tejas yeah. i am yeah. just making we show that i need exercise i need close your eyes yeah. and the with the finger how to do that please show us which one ma'am i did not get you nargis ma'am and just now you showed no finger on the i need chanmukhi mudra yeah yeah i'll ha, you took yeah, out yeah, your yeah, specs yeah, yeah, show yeah, us yeah 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 i will i'll yeah. show So basically, ma'am, it's yeah, 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 sure, sure. It's like you have to close your senses. The symbol, it's a symbol. Mudra is a symbol. You close your senses, the five sensory organs: your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, right? So that you are not looking outward in the world. You are now letting your senses go inward. Okay, so how it is done? Two thumbs here. Okay, eyelids pay two index fingers. Here pay nose pay and two here on the lips. yeah so basically i'm closing my ears with these two thumbs my eyes my nose and my mouth okay got it ma'am yeah so i'm just training myself my senses my five sensory organs perce uh, uh, perceptive organs okay jisko bolte hain hum gnanendriya bolte hain ya फाइव सेंसेस सेंसरी ऑर्गन्स ऑफ परसेप्शन जो बोलते हैं बिकॉज दिस इज वे यू परसीव इन द वर्ल्ड सो दिस इज शनमुखी मुद्रा बेसिकली मैम इट्स अ सिंबल दैट यू आर जस्ट क्लोजिंग योर सेंसेस एंड ट्रेनिंग इट टू ट्रेनिंग द सेंसेस टू गो इन वर्ल्ड राइट अब यू नो व्हाट बिफोर दिस डूइंग दिस साक्षी भावना लेट मी गिव यू दिस स्मॉल हैक ओके दिस इज वेरी यूजफुल एंड यू ऑल वुड बी डूइंग इट अनोइंगली have you done this or have you all of us do it have you realized that you know when you are in too much of stress or when you are very angry you just close your eyes do you do this all of us when we are very tense or stressed or you know just you just like just close your eyes and sit it happens subconsciously you just close your eyes you know why do we do this the moment you close your eyes the outside world is cut it's you are disconnected and you know what there's a research that just closing the eyes can reduce the stress level just the mere act of closing eyes whenever you feel like bahut gussa aa raha hai ya bahut situation mein you know aapko samne wale ko dekh ke bhi gussa aa raha ho ya ho raha to just just close your eyes believe me it works simple act of closing eyes okay because you are immediately cutting the inputs from the outside world going in just just by closing the eyes you are not letting the बिकॉज क्या होता है ना द मोमेंट आई सी रजिया मैम और द मोमेंट आई सी वनिता मैम आई स्टार्ट जजिंग बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट आवर वी आर कंडीशन टू डू ओके द डोर बी हैंड इज गुड और ओ ओ द ड्रेस इज गुड और यू नो ओ द वॉड रो बी वी स्टार्ट जजिंग एंड एनालाइजिंग डू वी डू दिस द मोमेंट वी सी पीपल वी स्टार्ट एनालाइजिंग दैम है ना हम लोग करते हैं ना राइट नाउ योर द मोमेंट यू लुक एट मी यू एनालाइज मी इट्स नॉट दैट यू क्रिटिसाइज मी बट यू एनालाइज मी आई एम लुकिंग एट यू आई एम एनालाइजिंग यू so the moment you close your eyes the analysis stops the judgment stops and you are relaxed right the closing of eyes is very important you can practice this now all of us will sit okay now and without you have to deep breath also no when you are in I, stress I, 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 yeah yeah deep breath also breathing the deep breath yeah, is yeah. connected to uh, you know stress yeah thank we you we are often told we are often told that we should 
count one, two, three. And yeah. then immediately your emotions get stabilized. And, and they do. Huh? It's, it's not a hokum or it's not. There is a scientific base. Huh? It, it's true, uh, Noreen, ma'am. Uh, yeah. uh, like, you know, one day maybe possible and I'll get into the technicality of it. It's, it's actually got a scientific base to it. So it's true. The moment you start slowing down your breath, okay, your thoughts and emotions also are connected to your breath. They are very deeply connected. Okay, so we'll go into it maybe one of the future sessions. So right now, we're going to practice Sakshi Bhavna. For that, we are going to sit relaxed, just sit relaxed. Do participate, you know. The more you participate, the more you reap or, or take away the benefits of it. Just sit relaxed, close your eyes. Okay, I'm going to guide you how to do it. Now you're going to take a deep inhalation. And a deep exhalation. Feel the air while you inhale. Feel the air at the walls of the nostrils. Just close your eyes, Sonia, ma'am. Yeah, you can sit relax. Just relax your breathing. Feel the air at the walls of your nostrils while inhaling. Exhale out. Go deeper. Inhale and feel the air at the soft palate above your tongue. Just feel it. Relax your eyelids, relax your facial muscles, feel completely relaxed. Now you're going to practice Sakshi Bhavna, which is witnessing your thoughts, emotions, sentiments. Let them come, let them go. Be an observer. The way you would observe a movie without emotionally investing. You are not going to feel any emotion. Just watch it like a movie. Detach yourself. Take yourself out from that situation and just watch it like a third party, like an observer. Let them come. It's their job to come and to go. Don't befriend them. Neither are you going to make it your enemy. They are there for a reason. They come. They go. Emotions are transient in nature, meaning they keep changing all the time. But you are the constant. Emotion will come. Emotion will go. You are going to be the constant. Just watch them. Don't do anything. Don't analyze. Don't criticize. Don't judge. Be a witness and watch the whole scene as if it's a drama being played out. The drama keeps changing. The character keeps changing. But you are the constant.
slowly bring back your mind to pranadharana that is feel the cool air going in at your soft palate and the warm air thrown out now feel the air at the walls of the nostril breathe normally Talk for a few seconds keeping your eyes closed slowly and steadily lift your eyelids gently gently can you open your eyes can you open your eyes so when you did sakshi bhavana when you did not respond how was the feeling in your body and mind okay compared to when you actually did the first exercise when you identified with the emotions and you felt the heaviness in your chest right this is the difference if you emotionally invest yourself you are going to feel all the sensations and emotions even if the event is over and it is going to bother you once again and every time you think of it right so now what does this teach us that you can always think of the memories that made you happy because every time you go to think of it it's going to make you happy again it's the same science right so think of all those memories in the past which makes you happy which brings a smile on your face which makes you joyful because you are training your mind this is nothing but constantly training our mind right the way we do yoga asanas the way we do tai chi the way we do other exercises we are training our muscles yeah sonia yes sonia ma'am yeah razia ma'am yeah so basically we are this is what we are just training ourselves slowly and steadily hum log train kar rahe hain so maybe eventually after good practice will have better control or over our emotions this is the concept of sakshi bhavana be a sakshi be a witness emotions will come emotions will go and emotions are temporary right now if you are angry you know what believe me after an hour you will not feel equally angry aapne dekha hai time jaane ke baad gussa thanda hi ho jata hai right as the time passes by your anger goes down it never goes right. it goes down eventually it goes down hai na so if you yes. actually if you detach yourself go for a walk believe me hmm. coming back home you are not going to be that angry so what you have yeah. to do whenever you are in a fight believe me this works okay just detach yourself move away from that situation okay listen to some music or go away for a small walk or do something else and then come back the fight will not aggravate otherwise if you are in that particular situation the fight aggravates this really helps because the the emotions will go away eventually they go away so they are temporary this is sakshi bhavana is one of the tools that we use like all other exercises you can do it for 3 minutes starting with 2 minutes 3 minutes in a day or whenever you are free evening morning this can be done but not on a uh, heavy stomach because when you are uh, digesting food okay a lot of energy goes into digestion so try you know on doing this on an empty stomach relatively empty stomach and believe me you know what you will see so many thoughts are coming and emotions are coming and they are like you know trying to disturb you or trying not to disturb you but trying to get your attention wo log you know emotions aayenge it's like emotion aayenge razia ma'am hi razia ma'am ne hi bola hi nahi second time emotions aayega sonia ma'am hi sonia ma'am ne usko hi bola hi nahi to do bar teen bar hi bolenge fir wo thak jayenge and they'll go away because how many times would you say hi if the other person is not responding i'll say hi once 
I'll say hi twice. If the if if I see that Sonia ma'am is not responding to me, I'm not being wanted. I'll go away. So the emotions that you don't want, don't say hi to them. Don't say a hi to them. Let them come and let them go. That's it. So yeah, this was Sakshi Bhavna. I hope. Yeah, it's a very simple tool. No tools are required. Nothing. Jahan pe baithe ho, wahan kar sakte ho. Yeah. So I'm a big fan of easy, easy exercises, easy tools, simple tools. Because otherwise, kya hota? Eventually, you know what? If you you like enthusiastic, right? Now, but eventually, it, the enthusiasm wears off. I have done so many things, and some some of the practices are like I'm not continuing. With it. Simple things, okay, which brings you, which you know, bring you benefits, are always practiced for a long time. Yeah, I'm a big fan of simplicity and simple tools. So this is one of the tools you can, if you wish to, include in your uh, daily practice. Yeah. So, any questions? Very well last... explained. Very well explained. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Thank you. You know, I'm thankful. So thankful to you all that you know. You all actually every week I I I think of a topic. You know, like you know what should I come up with, and then actually I read a lot, and you know I so. You know they say if you want to learn something, start teaching it. That is the best way to learn. <laughs> so, yeah, I am also learning a lot. So thank you all. Yeah, thank thanks you so once much. again. Bye, bye, thank everyone.